The video you are about to watch is the class lecture for this English 8 assignment. Treat it as you would any lecture by paying attention, following directions, and taking notes. But this is better than a lecture. You can pause the video to catch up with notes, review something that you missed, or refer to other files on your computer. Remember that you are accountable for all material in this video. Today's lecture discusses writing the biography of the speech analysis report assignment. This section of the paper will introduce the speaker of the speech you've chosen and connect his or her life to the purpose of the speech, that purpose of the speech being established in the introduction already. During this lecture, we'll take a look at the model example that you have access to. You also have access to a model example that has been commented through Google Comments. So if you are unsure about the specific details of the model example and what each sentence does, take a look at those comments. Those can be helpful notes for you. But I will narrate the discussion of the specific points as well. So let's start with the first step of writing the biography. When you begin this section, you should begin by providing basic background information about your speaker. So let's take a look at my example. Remember that we are talking about President Ronald Reagan's speech at the Brandenburg Gate in June of 1987. And let's take a look at the biography section, which is the second section. I'll read it through and then we'll discuss its qualities. Ronald Reagan became famous first as an actor in the 1930s. He starred in many films, including Bedtime for Bonzo and Newt Rockne All-American, before turning to politics. In 1966, he won election to be governor of California and was re-elected for a second term. In 1981, he won election to the presidency and served for two terms. At this point, the United States was facing a disastrous economy and tense military situation in the Cold War. President Reagan disagreed with the Cold War policies of previous presidents, a policy known as detente. This policy required the United States merely to contain the Soviet Union, not defeat it. Reagan felt that this policy was inadequate, so he acted to spread freedom and democracy around the world and block the advancement of Soviet communism. Reagan left office in 1989, and the Soviet Union collapsed in 1991, ending the Cold War. Reagan stayed out of public attention until his death in 2004. So once again, let's go back to the first point of your biography, which is to provide basic background information. I've done that here in a few sentences. So if you take a look, you'll see Ronald Reagan became famous first as an actor in the 1930s, and then I've listed a couple of movies that he starred in. Reagan's basic background information is that he was a movie actor before he was a politician. And the basic background information will vary from speaker to speaker. It could be the time and place of birth. It could be their family. But I feel that it's important to understand that Ronald Reagan was a movie actor before he was a politician. It might give some perspective on how well he speaks in public, that he has background um, addressing audiences for entertainment. Let's take a look at the second task of your biography, which is to provide specific background relevant to the speech addressing the purpose. So back again to the model example, notice that I've used the word specific, background that is relevant to the purpose. His purpose in giving this speech at the Brandenburg Gate is to be a world leader, leader urging political action on international policy. So it's important that I start giving details about him as a politician. I've given one detail in this sentence that talks about how he won election to a governorship in California. And then in here, I talk about how he was elected to the presidency. I could talk about a number of different issues connected to Reagan's presidency because his presidency was filled with a number of monumentous events. However, I decide that I will discuss his approach to the Cold War specifically because his approach to the Cold War is most relevant to the speech. As in the introduction section, remember that as you give details about any subject, those details must be directly relevant to the overall discussion that you're having, and that discussion is about this speech at the Brandenburg Gate. So when I give details about Reagan's presidency, those details all have to do with his speaking on that one day in June in 1987. And you'll notice that my sentences talk about his particular approach to the Cold War and what he did during his presidency about it. 
The final task of the biography is to provide information after the speech. That means information about the life of the speaker once that speech has ended. And going back to my model example, you'll see that I only have a little bit of information after the speech talking about how he left office, the Soviet Union collapsed after he left office, and how he was basically out of the public eye until he died in 2004. Your speaker may not be dead. If your speaker is not dead, then you should give indication of what that speaker is doing at the moment that you write the report. If your speaker has died, then you can give the date of death, but you probably only need to talk about the details of the death if they are relevant to the subject of the speech. Obviously, Reagan did not die in the course of his presidency, nor during any action related to the Cold War, so it's immaterial that I discuss his details of death. I just mentioned that he did die in 2004. The details of this speaker's life after the speech are not vitally important, but it gives the reader a sense of who this person was in the course of their life. So don't spend much time on it, but do spend some time on it. Let's review. So when you're discussing the biography of your speaker, you should start with some basic background information. Just basic background information to introduce the speaker, their name, uh, something important about them before the time of their speech. Then you go into specific details of their life surrounding the speech. What were they involved in that connected them to the event at which they gave the speech? And the specific details should all relate to the issue that was under examination during that speech. Once you finish that, provide some information about the speaker's life after the speech. Make sure that I understand how or when they died, if they died, possibly how they died, if that's relevant. And if not, what they're doing at this point. This information should be relatively brief, and you should determine the length of it based upon the information that you have through research. If you have questions about any of the material in this lecture, be sure to bring them to class. Do not forget that watching a class lecture outside of class leaves more class time to answer those sorts of questions. So come to class with questions and ready to clear away any confusion so you can write an excellent biography section to your speech analysis report.